season two was kind of meh of one punch man compared to season one yes but um if you know jc staff you know that they're not a an action first studio they mm. do a lot of slice of lifes and their slice of lifes are very beautiful looking they have very consistent animation they do good background work they don't really have bad production schedules usually and jc staff was saddled Anyway, um, JC I, staff is a yeah. I was gonna say season two of One Punch Man gets a bad rap. Oh yeah, no, that's where I'm going with this. JC staff is a brilliant studio. They got saddled with a responsibility that if you don't know the anime industry, here let me set the stage for a second. The reason One Punch Man season two looks so good is I want you to go to Mal after stream, go to One Punch Man, Madhouse animated it, which is historically a really good studio. The funny thing is, right after One Punch Man, Madhouse kind of fell off. Uh, they've been coming back recently, but One Punch Man is an interesting case in the industry where it really showcases and highlights that studio doesn't matter, I'm going to say 60% of the time, because the staff that work throughout the industry are contract workers mostly. They they don't just work for like KyoAni or Kyoto Animation, my bad. Not everyone might know what KyoAni is. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kyoto Animation, they don't always work for fucking Toei. They don't all, animation studios. They don't always work for JC staff. They don't always work for Madhouse. They don't always work for lead in films. They don't always work for C2C. Um, they bounce around. And One Punch Man season one was so solid because basically, if you look at the staff list, everybody that you would go, oh, they're a god in the industry. Like they are the guy for this type of sequence. They're the person that is, you know, always spotted in the staff list for this on shows. On it. Uh, whenever you look at One Punch season one, the whole staff is just like top tier animators mm -hmm. in the industry, the best of the best. And they all happen to be free at that point in time. So we got One Punch season one. The Arguably, downside, One Punch Man season one should not exist. Yeah, it shouldn't exist. It will never happen again, probably. Um, One Punch Season 2, though, is coming off the heels of that and being oh, yeah. given to a studio that is historically relegated. A sip of water would suffice. I'm just going to chill on my feet. I need a sip of water. <laughs> you got any water in that fanny pack? Uh, I mean, we have the, uh, the <laughs> water fountain over there. <laughs> um... I actually do have water in the fanny pack, though. <laughs> um, so One Punch Man Season 2 got saddled on to JC Staff, who is traditionally a studio that focuses on uh, slower paced shows, usually slice of life shows, uh, nothing too crazy, or shows just skewing closer to slice of life than like a shonen action sort of appeal. And I'm going to be honest, they did a damn good job with Season 2. Mm -hmm. For the for their resume, they kicked it ass, falling. and I I think it's unfair to like uh, like attack season two of One Punch Man in a way that well this sucks. Oh, I got this. oh hi, how are you? All right, all right, all right. Look, look. Let's like, look. We'll trade some blows a little bit. You, you, you take this fifty bucks. You go down. I go get my Slurpee from the, the vending machine, and we call it even. All right. <laughs> that was bad. I. Okay, hold on. I gotta. I gotta heal. I'm not doing too hot. Um. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I think they did a good job, and I and One Punch Man season two is objectively not as good looking as season oh, yeah. one whenever we're talking about action sequences but i think jc staff if you go look at their resume did a damn good job and i think that makes season two more interesting to me than season one when it comes to the framing season one's great but i enjoyed season two i thought it was good i i i, I walked in though knowing that the animation wasn't going to be season one because mm -hmm. it, we're never getting that again. The writing was still there. The quality of the art was still there, except for Genos's arms. I'm going to be honest. I 
I feel like they tried something and it just wasn't. Yeah. It just didn't work. I'm not a fan of how they rendered the metal. Um. Oh, now we got Animal Crossing music. That's what this game needs. Fuck yeah. Um. But it's good, and it's fair to say it's not as good as season one. Like, because uh, I can't be unfair here and be like, how how dare people criticize it? Totally makes sense why people are criticizing it. But a lot of the criticism is obviously from perspectives that don't know JC staff and they don't know the I'm history of the show. And, if you defeat those guys. <laughs> and I'm not saying yours is never. Just a lot of it is, and I think it's I think it's interesting to watch how the discussion has evolved over time with One Punch Man season two. Play some Silent Horror Resident Evil music to set the tone. You don't like the city folk main menu music for this game? <laughs> <laughs> uh, even the mangakas redraw chapters because of poor quality. Instead of watching One Punch Man season two, watch Mob Psycho. Well, the reason they're redrawing it, like, what do you mean? I'll uh, uh, I'll be honest. I don't know why they relegated it to another team. So it's not up to studios. It's not up to animators. Um, the way the anime industry works, and I, I, I'm a little hazy on this because I haven't like refreshed my knowledge a little bit. Um, there are things called committees or production committees that are helmed by large uh, conglomerates in the production space and other studios. So usually, remember how I said a lot of animators are contract workers? Uh, they are contracts. The studios uh, basically bid on them or receive the offer. And this is where you end up with the really bad situation in the industry of uh, um, production timelines being terrible because the contract might be an anime that should take nine months being done in seven. Yeah. Yeah. And they got to burn through it and they have to get it out. And it results in a lot of problems during the production process. It remains a bad decision. Um, possibly. Who cares about blame in the end? Your show is either good or not. Well, then, okay, we just won't talk about the anime industry. I mean, there are people to blame. Like, that's very important because... 90% of the time, it's not necessarily the animator themselves' fault. Here, uh, here, I'll explain why it's important to talk about it. The reason it is important to talk about it is because you get ignorant just shitheads. I'm not going to mince words here. Uh, who go online and shit talk specific people on the staff. And you get ignorant morons that do not care about the industry they don't care about the history of it the future of it the production of it all they want is their fucking give me my instant gratification now and they spawn these rumors online of man madhouse is a shit show um jc staff must be a shit show look at the quality of one punch man season two why are they such a bad studio why is yuru camp gouging prices so bad on their shit and they blame C2C. They blame the mangaka. Why is this tent that they just slapped the fucking Euro, Euro Camp sticker on that was literally $80 weeks ago, now $500? <laughs> it's none of these people's fault. There's more blocks in this puzzle than people realize, and that's why it's important to talk about it. Instead of trying to please online weirdos, just block them. All right, so if we block all of them, they still buy shit. Walmart doesn't block you when it doesn't like you from buying chocolate milk. Mm. This isn't even about conversations. It's about it's about combating willful ignorance out of that's spawning out of selfishness. It's why I'm quick to push back when someone genuinely shits on a developer for something that's out of their mm. out of their hands. As much as I'll be critical of a game and be like, why did they do this? This, is, this decision is stupid and lazy. I don't understand it. There's a difference between that in my mind than someone going, 
man, why does Metal Gear 5 feel like shit? What the fuck happened to Kojima? He fell off. It's like, no, that's not the history there. My man was locked in a closet for like the last six <laughs> months of the game's development because he hate, like he didn't like he Konami didn't and Konami <laughs> did, didn't like him. It felt like being reductive to what actually happened. But my point is like there's more to the story than that. And yes, yeah, sometimes it is worth discussing those ins and outs because A, it, it clears the air for willfully ignorant people. And B, it gets people interested in the conversation who didn't know in the first place. Okay. Any plans to review or discuss anime scenes in the future? Question mark. Like, if you guys want to talk about anime that I've seen, that you've also seen, like my MAL is posted in the anime channel in the Discord. And most of what I've seen, Rich has seen also, because yep. we, we kind of watch seasonally together. So like right now we're watching, and we're not caught up on a lot of this. We actually fell behind. We're watching Dungeon... <sighs> I just died. <laughs> right now we're watching Dungeon Meshi. We're continuing the second half of Undead Unlocked. Put the fucking we're, chair in front of the crafting bench. <laughs> we're watching uh, Free Ren. We're also watching that. Um, uh, Majo Tayaju. We're watching that. What else are we watching? Uh, we're watching Undead Unlocked. Yeah, I said that. Um... We haven't started the second scene of Udisei yet. Yeah, Udisei, Yatsuda, we... Fuck, hold on. Fuck, I aggroed something. Hold on. Oh, no. And we're watching Metallic Rouge this season also. Yes. But, yeah, we're usually watching, like, five to eight things a season. Um, but if anyone's curious and would like to talk about anime, I'm up to talk about anime at any time. Uh, granted, if we're already on a topic, I'm not going to, like, knee-jerk out of it, but... Mm -hmm. You can find my MAL in the Discord, in the anime channel. Oh, I've, apparently items in your hot bar weigh twenty five percent less. That's nice. Uh, but what about Elfin Lead? I love Elfin Lead. Elfin Lead is one of my favorite early two thousands um, body horror focused seinen anime.